Sure. All right. This might be out. My name is Margaret Hoetze, and I'm the Legislative Director for the Life Advocates in Houston, Texas. Uh, Senate District 7, Dan Patrick is my state senator. Uh, I, I would like to say that Bernard Nathanson is the, the abortionist that helped push America into the Roe v. Wade decision. He was one of the two biggest abortionists in the United States. And when he saw the silent screen that someone asked people to look at, he turned into a strong pro-life person. And he went around the whole United States showing that film and swearing that those children were feeling pain. And it was much younger than 20 weeks. Uh, last year, shortly before Christmas, Cecile Richards, the CEO of Planned Parenthood, sent out a, a fundraising email uh, telling her supporters, quote, Planned Parenthood health centers are reaching more women than ever with our life-saving services. Just a month later, Planned Parenthood reported receiving a record $542 million in taxpayer support for the fiscal year of 2012. The sum which it, it's really, it marks a tremendous increase in government funding despite the Republican-led efforts at both state and federal level to cut off those funds. Meanwhile, Planned Parenthood performed 32,000 abortions in 2012. That's their report, or about 900 abortions a day. That should be called death-delivering service by killing tiny unborn babies and never be called a life-saving service. There's a big difference. Truly, abortion is not a life-saving service. Ms. Hosey, thank you. Your time's up. Thank you. We have two minutes.